Well, these are shots from the LG V40 smartphone launched in September 2018. It might not be the best of shots because this particular video was actually unplanned. I got this particular version not because the device looked cool, but because the prices have dropped completely. I made this video purposely for upcoming content creators who actually have no money to spend on high budget camera systems. The LG V40, 50 and 60 offers a lot of top quality features comparing them to their price point. I have left a link in my description below for the complete shot I took with the LG V40 in particular some time ago on my way to work. Now am I an LG person? No, not anymore. I personally have my own reasons why I moved to Sony, though I still like LG. And that's due to two main reasons. The first reason will be bet money. You would find me doing massive research on any smartphone that sells with manual camera feature. Auto is good, but it's always okay if you are able to manipulate certain things yourself. Sony offers manual with some log features, and I love it. Two, I used to be an LG person until I wasn't. We all know what happened, right? Rest in peace, LG. You'll be forever remembered. Or maybe you wouldn't. These are 4K 60 frames per second scenes, downscaled to 1080p at 24 frames per second. How many smartphones currently have more features like the LG V40 and cost less than 200 USD? In my opinion, no smartphone company is suffering that at this moment. LG's smartphone production is dead, not because they produced bad devices, it's because some people suck at their job. LG offered a lot in their devices for content creators, but failed to even place emphasis on those features during their launch. A couple of them will be 1. LG was the first smartphone company to launch a device with a triple camera system that made sense. A standard telephoto and a wide. And it worked so cool. No device was doing it at that time. Look, the sad part is LG didn't even place emphasis on this feature the day they launched the device. Guess what? They spent time talking about design, color, and a second screen, that made sense a bit, but wasn't needed later on because it only killed the battery too quick. 2. LG was the first smartphone that could record log videos in 10 bit. They called it the cine mode. Again, they didn't even talk about it when they launched it. What did they spend the whole time talking about? Design, battery, and a video recording stability feature. These were cool, but the 10-bit log, I think, was a killer feature that could have made a difference on the market. 3. When all smartphones were crawling at 3GB RAM, the LG V10 was powering a 4GB RAM Qualcomm 808 processor. What did LG do again? They didn't place emphasis on it. Yeah, the battery sagged, but it was way ahead of all the competition. Now, this is what Apple is good at, right? Apple even markets smartphone design as if it's going to add some usable function to the device but this is where LG thought oh it's not really important let's talk about some fun stuff we added to the phone LG launched their devices as if they were selling to babies who want something noisy to play with when they are sad so what's next for LG since their smartphone production is dead sell TVs and fridges huh who keeps a fridge or a TV in their pocket oh and for your information, they don't even market those ones properly. LG TVs have always been better. But look, Samsung is selling better than LG these days. Even Hitachi, Hisense, and what? These other Chinese guys. Yeah, they are doing it better. You know what? Let's just focus on the LG V40 for now. The LG V40 now sells less than 150 USD. So if you are someone who can't afford a digital camera or maybe... You have an interest in creating content using your smartphone but don't have money to go in for the 700 to 900 price range devices then i suppose you check out a device like the v40 v50 or 60. they all don't cost much now with the lg v40 you get a 6 gigabyte ram device powered with a qualcomm 840 processor the only game i played on this device were call of duty mobile and pro evolution soccer not once the it lag or overheat, but the only issue you would come across is the battery, which is 3,300 mAh. The V40, V50, and 60 offers camera features you can learn a lot from if you are an amateur or 
completely new to filmmaking. I personally think the LG V series were purposely built for content creators. You get a manual camera mode which allows you to take photos in both JPEG and RAW. You also get an auto feature just like every phone does. Its manual video mode also has all the manual features you need if you want to be in control over whatever that you are doing. And I think it's great. The V40 shoots 4K at 60 frames per second, 30 and 24. Also, you get to shoot 1080p at 240 frames, 120, 60, 30 and 24. There is also a feature in it called the Cine Mode, which records in an LG Vlog 10 bit Full HD. 2268 by 1080p resolution. Guess what? It's dope. I was hoping after I updated the device, I was going to get a Cine mode 4K, but that didn't happen. Maybe 10 bit 4K at 60 frames was going to cause some overheating problems to such a small device. Anyways, show me a device that has no downside to it. Not one. Now, whilst trying out this device, I came across two problems, okay? And one of them will be the autofocus. I would like to talk about what causes the autofocus to misbehave or get inconsistent, right? The autofocus system isn't that bad, but to begin with, I would give it a 78% over 100. The remaining 28 autofocus inconsistency would occur when you begin encountering overheating issues. A typical example would be shooting in a high temperature at 4K, 60 frames per second for so long maybe 30 to 40 minutes will be the maximum and that's where you begin to face autofocus issues but you never get an autofocus problem when shooting 4k at 30 and 24 also 1080p at 60 30 and 24 is okay note this shooting 1080p at 120 frames to 240 frames for longer periods of time will surely cause the autofocus not to function properly, especially if the temperature during the day is high. And this will be due to overheating. The video flickers at this point, whilst the autofocus also struggles to get your subject real good. The second downside will be noise in shadows. If you are looking for a device that can handle low light scenes real good, don't even think about this low budget device as one because it's not really good at that. And the only reason will be due to its smaller sensor. This isn't something too overwhelming because most budget smartphones also can't handle low light um, scenes properly. So yeah. Another quick one, you get steady recording feature which stabilizes your video. But the downside to it is it crops your video just a little bit in order to get your shaky um, video stabilized. So if you don't want any cut in quality, then get yourself a gimbal, a smartphone gimbal. Like I said in the beginning, I have dropped more shots you can watch. And if you like it, it costs less than 150 USD. Children these days want to get creative. So if you're a parent and not in the mood to throw 700 to 900 USD on a smartphone at this moment, then a device like this would be a great option for the babies. My final thought would be shame on LG for collapsing their smartphone production and shame on Sony too because they aren't learning from the fall of LG. Seems to me they are copying and moving towards every step that caused LG to collapse. They better be careful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more beginner contents like this one. See you in my next video.